Thank you for registering for our free trial. I'd like to show you a little bit about the UBIL Pro system. But before we start, I want you to remember if you do upload a building, your building will be set to a certain specification, a default specification, and you can read that default specification here. It's set to a builder's finish. There are things we just don't know about what you want in your drawing, so you will have to go through and configure certain items that we just can't put a price, for, put a price on. But I will show you some of those examples as we go through. Let's have a look at how we configure a building. You see here all the different groups of items within a build in general. And underneath these are what we call our subgroups. Okay. First of all, note that some of them are in green and some of them are in, some of them are in blue. The blues are generally optional items which we have no way of pricing for you. For instance, ceiling coving, we don't know what style you want, fireplace, central vacuum systems. So you need to look at every item and make sure that everything is covered to your liking. You'll notice here we have fitted kitchen and we have a PC sum of 16,000 that may be too high or too low for your choice. Again, you have to go through every item. The fitted kitchen and utility, just while we're on it, is within the structure element. So let's take a look and see how do we pick an item with you build. And we'll start off with Windows. Windows is something that people generally can relate to. There's a few different things on this page that, that I need to talk to you about, but I'm going to start off with changing the actual windows themselves. This is the, uh, the real magic in you build and the part that everybody's interested in. At the moment we have standard building reg regulation hardwood timber windows supplied and fitted. Okay. Now there are no prices showing here on this side because the, the system has to do a lot of work to generate prices for every different type of window available. So what we ask you to do first is to, is to uh, filter. So let's pick Aluclad. There is a, oftentimes there's a second and even a third option for filtering, but perhaps there's no need to filter any further. As you can see under Aluclad windows we give three different options. And well, let's pick these passive Aluclad windows, 42,000. A note on a, on a few items we have notes that we need you to read through just to give you some background background some technical information on the on the item you're choosing something you have to bear in mind when you're making different choices they appear here and there throughout the build and we'll give you some background information the next choice I want to show you is under structure and we're going to look at coins at the moment we have no coins chosen on the building. And now we have an option to change globally or change individually. That's because there are coins in different places in the building. You'd have the same thing, for instance, if you were changing electrical items. So we offer these PDFs for the builders and for yourselves. There's a few different PDFs I have open already. A lot of, we generate all these different 3D views when we uh, process your building. So now let's say you decide you want to have coins just on Q1, Q5 and Q6 of your build. Let's go back here to the tab. We're not going to put coins on every corner, we're just going to put coins on Q1, Q5 and Q6. Let's choose these grey granite with chamfer, select those, and now our prices for Q1, Q5 and Q6 are spending €1,211, and the none is there because there are some corners without coins. Okay. The other item on the page here, the supplier list, if you have a specific supplier that you, supplier that you want your coins to come from, you can choose that supplier there. If you do that, the builder knows when quoting that he or she has to go to that specific supplier to get a price. Generally you can leave that, open, leave that blank and then the builder can shop around for you, but if you do have a specific supplier in mind, you um, can include them there. Now 
Now there's another item we need to look at. There's a particular page. I'm just going to go to preliminaries and look at this. Entrance groundworks. Sometimes we have this note here, builder to quantify cost. And if you need the builder to quantify a cost, that's because you have no idea how to quantify a cost. It. You can click that button and the builder knows he or she has to quantify and cost a particular item. We know there are certain notes you might want to give to the builder who's pricing your build. So we've built that specific facility in and let me show it to you within roof structure. Let's say for instance you're choosing blue bang or slates, which I've already chosen on this build. And I've put a note into the builder, you type a note into the builder. Blue bank or slates to be inspected by client before installation. For instance, whatever note you put in, you click save, make sure you click save, and your builder will see that note and an important facility for specific items within the build. Okay, let's make a few choices within electrics. Let's decide we want to put some low voltage downlighters throughout the house. Now if we want to put them everywhere in the house, we click on change globally. Let's take a look at change individually. At the moment, we have four in the entrance hall and we have four in the living room. So let's say we want to put a few in the kitchen as well. We click on the kitchen, change the quantity. Let's say we want to put eight in. Next at the bottom, select the one you want, 81, 82, different prices here. So let's say we like this, it's not like ones. And now we can see our overall price for white ones and black ones. Let's okay, let's take a look at the kitchen. The kitchen is located under structure. We have a fitted kitchen and a fitted utility down here. At the moment we have 13,000 in for our fitted kitchen. We also obviously have uh, 3D images showing the location and the size of the, of the kitchen. Now I want to change the PC sum. So if we select PC sum, put in a figure there, 21,000, and hit submit. Now at the top of the page here we have our preferred efficiency level function. You may decide at the very start that you would like a passive house. If you want to find out how much it's going to cost you to have a passive house, you click on passive here and click update. What happens now is certain groups within the build will be highlighted to let you know that they're not passive, up to passive standard I should say, and generally substructure, structure, windows and doors, heating. So you have to go in within each of these. Your front door is not passive. We already made this. These windows passive. You better go in and change your front door to a passive front door. Okay. Once you have configured your, your build, you notice now our warning has gone, has been removed from this panel. So let's go back to the home figure that we've configured our build. It would be good to know what energy rate is. So we need to reprocess the energy because we've changed the build. So you've got to click in here to energy compliance and process the energy. Now this function takes a bit of time, a few minutes. So go and have a cup of tea or watch the video that we give. It gives a lot of information into energy rating within Within building. Okay, once you've configured your building and processed your energy, we now have an energy rating of A2, we can go and upload your own building. You've completed the trial, you're quite happy. You want us to process your building for you, click on the Add a New Building button, fill in building name, building address, postcode, choose your file, upload your file. Files have to be in DWG format. You can get these from your architect. If you have a problem, or if your architect has a problem, you can contact us 
through the phone numbers and the emails or drawings at ubuildpro.com. Okay, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you found it informative. Fire ahead now, configure your test building, play around with the system, make sure you like it. If you have any questions, you can email us. Then when you're ready, add your own building. We're looking forward to processing and setting you up properly on your build probe.